Mark from Cars and Cameras, and we're going to try out and see how fast the MacBook Pro M3 and M3 Pro and compare it to the MacBook Air M2 can export some 8K video. So let's go ahead and do that now. I'm really curious to see uh, how this, this is a small test, but I'm really curious because when I have uh, used the uh, MacBook Air uh, M2, it has taken a long time to uh, export some clips. So let's see, so 45 seconds with the, uh, the new M3 Pro chip, the one on the right, and now we'll see which one comes in next. Oh, it looks like the 14-inch uh, MacBook Pro in the middle has crashed, so we'll have to redo that one on its own. So let's see with the M2 MacBook Air. So the MacBook Air did it in four minutes and 29 seconds. So you can see uh, considerably longer. So let's go ahead and redo uh, the uh, base model MacBook Pro 14 inch and see how fast it can do it. So the base model M3 Pro finishes in four minutes and 23 seconds. Okay. And the nine month old MacBook Air M2 finished in four minutes and 29 seconds. So I have to say, uh, this machine disappointed me the most. This is the base model. This is the MacBook Pro. And this is the 14 inch model with eight gigabytes of RAM for $1,599. And I have to say that I really thought this one was gonna perform really close to the Pro model. I really thought that this one, that this would be a little bit faster, but um, this one's considerably faster. And um, it does have 18 gigabytes of RAM and they both have the 512 gigabyte hard drive. But uh, I have to say, if you're shopping for these, now something to be aware of too with these machines is that, uh, when you get this machine that, you know, you, you do have another port here. You see, you do have your full size HDMI. You do have your SD card slot and you do have another a USB C uh, Thunderbolt on this side. And then on this side, you have, um, of course, your power and then you have two more and then you have your uh, headphone jack. But on this one, they took away on this side, you do not have uh, a USB-C Thunderbolt port on this side. You only have the two here. That's it. So they're identical on the left. So something to be aware of. But this machine, I mean, I am going to keep one of these machines. And I'm going to trade in my MacBook Air. Uh, I got it nine months ago. And I think this is the one that I'm going to keep because... Um, this one works really good. This one is a lot like the um, Mac Studio. And then you have the uh, MacBook Air M2. And, you know, I really like this machine, but, uh, you know, for the portability and the things that I do, uh, you know, I got to have one of the Pro models. And I, for, I, this is a fine machine for editing 4K video. There's, this is not really a capable machine for the 8K video. And the, um, the Pro, this one here, the base model, it really disappointed me. I really thought it was going to perform better. You know, and that's another $400. You can get this guy. And, uh, you know, you get 18 gigabytes of RAM comes with it to start with. And, um, you know, this one so far, I'm going to run some more tests. It's, it's performing really well. I think this is the one I want to trade up to. So guys, I hope you enjoy these videos. If you haven't subscribed, be sure to like, share, and subscribe and have a wonderful day.